In today's video, I will be sharing some of my tips and secrets as to how I kept up my 4.0 GPA and have all A's in high school. Don't forget to watch this video till the end to learn about actual tips and tricks that have helped me out so much in high school. When it comes to studying, I believe time is the biggest essence and with time comes procrastination. Now, I believe everybody at one point in their high school life is target to procrastination and while we all try to fight our battles with procrastination i do believe that time is the biggest asset when coming to your success and as a high schooler we have a lot of activities going inside and outside of classrooms so make sure to do your homework or your classwork during the designated time because that will save you so much problems after coming home Another tip is to start on your assignments as soon as you get home from whether it's basketball practice, football practice, or any sorts of clubs that you're in because coming home and going straight to your homework is very intimidating but trust me it is a wonderful thing to be able to go to sleep at 10 and not stay up till 12 or even past 1 doing the assignments. One of my favorite ways to be efficient and effective using my time is the Pomodoro method. And I'm sure a lot of you might have heard of this, but if you have not, Pomodoro basically breaks up your studying. So you can do a 25 minute studying uh, time period. And then after that, you can also take a short five minute break and do whatever you would like. This way you don't get burnt out and you can use a break in the middle so if you want to go through pinterest in five minutes which i can never do because i get stuck in this pinterest board or you can watch youtube videos and then after you're done with all that you can then come back again and start another pomodoro so these are just basically 25 minute sessions to help you not get burned out and this is a great way to use your time effectively Notion is another favorite resource of mine. I made a video about it last time, so if you have not checked that out, make sure to watch it because I gave an in-depth tutorial on how to use it. And Notion is a great way to have a creative yet organized way to put all your stuff, whether it's calendars or notes or classes, syllabus. It's an amazing website. Another one of my favorite apps to use is Socratic and I know this is a very popular app but if you don't know about it, Socratic is basically a answer and question kind of an app. So you can ask a question, whether you can type it, you can take a picture of it or you can also speak a question and then um, you can also scroll up and see all these different subjects that Socratic offers. So whether you need help in sciences like biology and physics and chemistry, or it's math like algebra, trigonometry, or even things like reading and social studies, those are all topics that Socratic has topics and resources to. And what I love about Socratic is that it gives you not only videos, but also related resources to it. So that's a definitely a big help for me. And I cannot tell you how many times I have gone on Socratic in just a single day because I literally live by Socratic and it is an amazing resource. So that's just a must for me. And lastly, but definitely not the least, is Photomath. I love Photomath because you can take a picture of your work and then get answers for that. So you can also do step by step and it tells you exactly how to solve for that problem just in case you don't want to look like you're cheating or you actually want to learn. I love Photomath and I've been using it since freshman year of high school and even today I still use it for my pre-cal class and another great thing about it is that it covers basically all forms of math no matter the difficulty. That is it for today's video and I just want you guys to know that these are only apps that can help you out but truly the success and the determination comes from within so 
before doing an assignment or before slacking or procrastinating remember what you are working towards and why you want to get that a at the end of the day it all comes from within us and it is truly our determination that can tell us the degree to our success so make sure to do your homework and if you're watching this video right now it is your sign to go and get that a thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you later